Well, hello everybody. I've been working on a little project for the past few days um, that I'm very excited about and very, I want to know how it works. So this is a lock bar insert in a frame lock flipper knife. Uh, an increasing amount of companies will start installing one of these on the inside, not on the outside. And I'll, I'll go into more detail in a second, but it's something that I've been I've been literally avoiding for the past seven years. I've known about it the whole time. I see a lot of my friends and colleagues using them, but I'm like, we have a stable method right now. We, we know how to make knives without it. Uh, it's going really well. Why change it? Why throw in another monkey wrench? So that's the question. Why am I doing it now? Um, we're at the point now where we're trying to like streamline production and reduce headaches. And honestly, while we have a really good method for doing this, it can be kind of headache inducing every now and then. Um, the act of setting the lock up, this one has more than I want, but it's an older knife. This thing is five years old. It's actually made the exact same date as my son was born within the month. Um, I was just thinking about that. I'm like, I had time to finish a knife when he was born? I guess so, my own. So the act of fitting the lock bar, so when you when you open the knife, it's got the right amount of lock bar, and more importantly, it doesn't stick. The sticking is a real problem. We've got our tricks, we scotch braid various surfaces, we do certain tricks, we've learned over the past seven years how to, how to have a really good method, but Eric's been telling me for years now that it could be as easy as five minutes, or it could be like 50 minutes, or it could be more, or you could scrap the handle. So there's, it's a big variability for us, that setting the lock, and uh, that's just not acceptable in this industry. So while we can pump up perfect product, the amount of time it takes to make it perfect is, uh, is variable, and I don't like that. We have the ability to change it. So the lock bar insert, instead of having titanium on stainless steel, so we do, we do carbonize the end of our lock bars, which is a video Aaron should film with Eric or Sky or something like that um, in the next couple weeks, because it's cool. And that in and of itself is a variable process and it's difficult and I actually, I redid a knife. Like normally Eric does all that work now. I used to years ago. Um, I haven't done it for a while, but I had to, we had to fix a knife that had the tiniest little bit of lock stick. So I was feeling brave, so I went and did it. It wasn't good, I made it worse. I did it again, I made it worse. I did it again, and then I might have ruined the part. So I felt like really stupid. So that was kind of my line in the sand moment where I'm like, I gotta find a better solution. Cause I know Eric is banging his head against the wall trying to get this to work consistently every time. Um, so the lock bar insert applies a hardened stainless steel insert into the handle. So you'll have a steel on steel, a stainless on stainless um, locking interface. And this one also has a little nub, which will kind of remove the need for our lock bar stabilizer there. And I made my first one, I just finished it yesterday. For the first attempt, I'm super duper happy with how it turned out. The day before, I made a bunch of little screws. So the big joke is uh, I had to find this lock bar insert inside that blade. And I'm like, oh, there you are. So I wanted to make it from hardened stainless steel. We had a scrap blade that uh, is no good anymore. So I knew that I could fit one within there. So I literally cut it out of a hard blade. And it worked awesome. So one of the questions will be, how hard do you make the insert? Do you make it 60, 62 Rockwell like the blades? Do you make it 30? Do you make it 50? I don't know yet. We're going to test a bunch of different things. I feel like softer than the blade will be a good thing, but we'll find out and uh, check out these little screws that I made. This is the smallest screw that I've ever made. It's just like our screw here, the lock bar stabilizer, except with a much smaller diameter head. It is a very tiny, very short screw, but it is strong. I tried to break one the other day. I screwed it into a threaded hole. I tried to crank on it. I tried to snap the head off. It would not break, so I'm very happy with that. So the screw will go into the lock insert. It'll sit super flush and it's gonna screw it into the handle. My goal for what this will provide to us is more consistency, more repeatability. If a part does get ruined, you can replace it. Although I literally don't think that's ever gonna happen. It just gives us a bit more control and hopefully will eliminate that lock stick that's plaguing us right now 
And like I said, while every finished knife that goes out the door is perfect, this is a, a mid-process thing that's like really bugging us. And if it bugs you, fix it. So that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, destroyed some tools doing it because cutting 60 Rockwell steel is difficult. But um, I designed it up in Fusion here so that I could see the next step will be to cut a handle. So the detent ball is still going into titanium. The screw will thread in here. And yeah, I'm very excited for um, trying this out. I still don't know if it's gonna work, but I love the process of creation. Let's try it, let's make it work. Let's make it happen. I wanna see what it feels like. 